So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at on how to import our media and organize it within Fomora 9. This step is very crucial as it helps you to lay out your project before you even begin editing. And it also helps in case you are working on a big project, so lots of media files. So let's take a look at Fomora 9 and see what we can do there. So I'm just going to open up for more nine right now to get started here. So in case when you open up for more nine, you see it say new project or open project. It's okay to click new project to get started. And what it will do is it will just start you off with a standard high definition project. So with that, so what we're going to do here is now we're going to go up to this area here. This area allows you to import your media files within Fomora. And so with that, you have an import menu, like import medias, media folder, and more. And so you would go to wherever you have imp downloaded your media to your computer in this case. Now, an extra step in terms of organizing, you can also create a new folder. So this folder could be used for many reasons. Maybe you filmed on different dates, so you can put down that date. So I'm just gonna write a random date. 2020, 08, and maybe today's date, just to uh, you know, just basically say, hey, I created this this date. So I'm going to go and click import, and I'm going to quickly bring something into Fomora. So in this example, I just brought in one of my course recording videos just to kind of demonstrate. The more media you bring in here, it's going to create a grid, a grid that you can view again to see what you've done here. Now, important thing to note here is I highlighted I clicked on that specific folder before importing. Again, another great way to organize your media. So as I click on these different folders, it's going to show me what media I have associated with that folder. Now with media, we're talking about video clips, images, and music that you can bring into your project. Now there is the ability to record from a webcam, your computer screen, or even record a voiceover. So in the case that you didn't record your voice initially, you could record a voiceover and add that to your project as well. What's neat about these options is it will add it to your project right away, saving you the step of having to import it. So another really great feature. So once I have media here, um, of course I can see, go up here where these uh, dots are and it gives me the ability to kind of change how it's viewed. Depending on what you're used to, you can change what the different thumbnail size for example, which help, helps, helps with big files. Um, I can sort it by duration. So maybe I want to be able to see which clips are short and which ones are large, uh, what type it is. So this would help organize it according to which ones are uh, video files, images, and music, so forth. And the other view I can, or sort by, I can do here is create date created. So this helps you in case you're trying to do a sequential video. So what video clip did you record first? versus when you recorded last. So those certainly help. There's also group by option, which again, will do the same thing. So I can group by type, which will put everything that's videos into one group, audio and pictures and more. So just another way to just tidy it up and help you quickly find what you're looking for. And of course, there's other options like maybe durations and more. So there's a lot you can do here, which again, helps you to quickly work with your media files within Fomora. Along with that, another way to organize your media is shared media. So shared media helps if you're gonna be working across multiple projects. So if you know there's something that you're gonna want available to you with every project, you can go ahead and use folders and import um, that media right into the shared media folder. So the key step there as well is to click on that folder icon here or whatever folders you created, make sure they're highlighted in that teal green and then go ahead and import it so that way it's organized. And those, the sort buys are available there. Of course, you can also filter, which is another way to quickly filter the different things that are available there, depending on what media you bring into. This concludes the lesson on importing and organizing your media, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.